Hey guys, welcome to Saturday Morning Cartoons. Today I'm going to review the Wild Thornberry movie. Uh, it's a 2002 animated movie uh, based on the hit TV show with the Wild Thornberries. It was made by Nickelodeon Movies and Klask Sapo? It's hard to say that name. Um, but uh, a known, little known fact, it was actually made during the running of the, of the show. Um, so as a kid, I remember I do like I do remember knowing and seeing commercials of the show, um, but I never really watched the show, uh, the Wild Thornberries. Um, but unlike Jimmy Neutron, um, where I watched both the show and the movie, I do remember seeing some of the movie when I was a kid. Um, so the premise of the movie. Um, is that there is a kid named Eliza who basically she gets the ability to talk to animals because she she saved a shaman from some ordeal. Now this whole summary that I just said is basically the premise of the show. So so let's get I'm going to talk about the movie. So in the movie, um, Eliza is playing around with some cheetahs and. And also, basically, or she plays around with cheetahs, and somehow, one that it, somehow they got they got too far to where they're supposed to be, and some poachers actually kidnap one of the cheetahs. And the and the premise, of the whole movie is that she tries and saves the cheetah, and everything. So. First, let's talk about the story. Uh, the story is good throughout the film. I actually enjoyed the story, you know, you know, saving the cheetahs, do you know, she also goes along the way and goes to different places, like she goes to boarding school, then she goes back to Africa to try to search for her family so she can actually go find the cheetah, the baby cheetah, and everything. Um, and I like how the beginning of the movie, they kind of like summarize the, the, the show and summarize what happened before so it helps you understand what's going on throughout the film. Um, which, like, like I'm going to say this, if you're going to watch the movie, I feel like you have to watch the show to understand certain things, certain aspects of the movie. Um, I like the ending. I like how it seems like it's going to continue, which it's, it seems like it did because, you know, this came out during the time of the show. Um... I like the uh, characters and how they are act, how they act, and how they're different tropes and opposites of each other. For example, Darwin the monkey, when she when he's talking to uh, Eliza, she he's more you know civilized and more well mannered. When he's not talking to Eliza, he's a monkey. But when it comes to her brave bro when it comes to Eliza's brother Donnie. He's more wild, chaotic, and, uh, you know, he's more uncivilized. Um, the jokes are good, but they're mostly about pop culture of the time. But some of the, some of the, jokes, some of the jokes are universal. Some of the tropes are universal. So, um, next is the animation. Um, the animation is fantastic. I really love... Um, the animation that this studio does because they've done stuff like they've done you know I think they've done Rugrats they did uh, according to Ginger I think I guess that's the name of the show so I love their art style um also the thing about this movie it doesn't look like a TV animation movie it actually looks like a movie movie for the animation um, I love the wacky character designs which makes the personality of the family look wild um, but the expressions do seem more human and relatable, even though they have a wacky character design. Like, I feel like the emotions from the actors and from the, you know, the way that they voiced their lines really helps bring out those characters. Um, I love how they use the, uh, how they use depth with certain scenes. Um, for instance, at the beginning when they when they pull back and they show the savannah, it just seems so awe-inspiring and, you know, very vast in depth. Um, 
I also like how the whack, the wacky, you know, wild character designs also fits with the animals because the animals are sort of wild, you know. Um, the last thing is the music. Now, the music I didn't really pay attention to because I was mostly focused on the story and the, and the movie itself. But I would say, you know, clearly because it's early 2000s film, it's going to have early 2000s pop music or music in general. Um, so, yeah. So, my overall review is it is an awesome, wacky movie with wacky animation. Um, it seems like it's, it's basically... It seems to me, not seeing the show, it seems like it's basically the show just on a movie scale. But if you're going to watch the movie, you're going to have to watch the show. Because I feel like watching the show actually helps. So that's basically my review of the Wild Thornberries. I hope you like this video and I'm going to do some more of these segments. Um... So, please in the comments below tell me some topics or some shows that I should review. Um, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you later guys.